Hello and welcome to Forex.academy, the number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition, we're going to be looking at viable cryptocurrency trading strategies. How can traders potentially profit from the cryptocurrency markets without risking too much money? And what are the profitable strategies for the current market? Whether the market is moving up or down, there is an opportunity for profit. Cryptocurrencies have been the most volatile tradable asset class in decades, which makes them the most sought after place for traders as it offers the most opportunity. However, trading brings risks along with the opportunities. So how can we overcome these risks to make sure the odds are in our favor when trading, even in a bear market that we are currently in? Strategy one, Heiken Ashi and MA crossover. With the cryptocurrency market mostly being in a downtrend since 2017, we have to take a look at some good strategies for trending markets, whichever way they go. This strategy includes Heiken Ashi as well as a slow and fast moving average crossovers to create an entry point. A profit target as well as a stop loss is also included. It is suitable for automation as well as beginner trades, as it is quite easy to pick up. Heiken Ashi is a version of a chart similar to candlestick charts. The main difference is that Heiken Ashi candles are averaged out. When used along with moving average crossovers, it can be quite effective in catching upwards and downwards moving trends. For this setup, we will be using the Heiken Ashi chart, 13 to 21 simple moving averages, and 100 simple moving average. This strategy marks as an entry when the fast SMA crosses to the slow SMA, and 2 to 3 Heiken Ashi candles in a row are green. For short selling, the entry should be when the slow SMA crosses the fast SMA, and 2 to 3 most recent Heiken Ashi candles are red. The profit target is when, in the case of a long position, a few Heiken Ashi candles in a row are red. In the case of a short position, the profit target is when a few Heiken Ashi candles in a row are green. Stop loss is a great prevention tool when it comes to preserving capital. When using this strategy, the stop loss should be the latest swing low for the long trade and the latest swing high for the short trade. To err on the side of caution, this strategy works extremely well in trending markets but does poorly in ranging swings. Strategy 2. Fib Retracements, Volume and Oscillators the second strategy is quite the opposite of the first one. It works great in ranging markets and poorly in uptrends and downtrends. Using Fibonacci retracements, we can establish potential previous move reversal points, combining the previous support and resistance levels to make it easy to predict support and resistance points that price will react to. This is where volume and oscillators come into play. Oscillators such as RSI and Stochastic can tell us when to expect a reversal and are mostly used for confirmation indicators. The entry points in this strategy should be breakouts to the upside or downside from the resistance support levels, followed by a spike in volume as well as confirmation from the indicators. Stop losses should be placed just on the other side of support and resistance levels that were used as an entry point. Leveraging your position can be an amazing addition to this strategy, and is even considered necessary, as ranging moves are not usually big. This means that the movements are more predictable, and when supplemented with medium to high leverage can be amazing for profit making strategy. Utilizing Leverage Trading Using leverage as a tool to increase the potential profits has been used by both institutions as well as retail traders for decades. It is a great tool to enhance potentially profitable trades. Many traders are arguing that it is a fast way to lose all of your money. However, if used properly, each of these trades taken will have a bigger upside than downside. If that's taken into consideration, leverage is an amazing way to increase profits and to get started trading with as little money as possible. If the market makes a 1% move, you would get only 1% profit without leverage. However, with the leverage of up to 1 to 100 that trading platforms are currently offering, that 1% move can turn into a 100% gain. With that being said, people should be careful when using leverage as cryptocurrency markets are extremely volatile and unpredictable. The amount of leverage used should correspond to the level of risk a trader is willing to take. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and comment down below if there's anything you'd like us to cover in future or if you would like to discuss the topics we have covered. Have a great day.